Welcome to the first module of the Palo Alto Firewall Assistance course. And this is going to be our platform overview. Let me take my pen. So this is going to be the platform overview. Okay. In this module, we will take a look at the uh, Palo Alto Firewall Basics. I'm going to make an introduction to the platform and we will take a look at the platform types and also spend a couple of minutes to understand the architecture of the Palo Alto Next Gen Firewall, which is called the SP3. I will go and explain this, what SP3 is later on. Palo Alto Firewall is a Next Gen Firewall, as I said earlier as well, next gen firewall. And this is basically prevention focused security system, which was designed which, with much more than just basic uh, security capabilities offered by some old style firewall systems focusing on just the IP addressing and uh, the port numbers. Those are called the second gen firewalls. Yeah, so this does more than that. In case of Palo Alto devices, they offer more than that, right? They are next gen because they offer many other capabilities than just basic uh, traffic filtering. And now, even when you do this basic filtering, as you build the rules, right, you have the rules. So as you build the rules, you will see there are going to be a lot of different elements that you will be able to select to control the communication. Palo Alto is a identity based system, which means that there is always going to be that user factor, uh, which we'll be able to um, select while building our rules. Uh, this will be talking about the um, payload, right? That it carries within the packets. And the device is also able to direct different type of applications, which is again an engine which is called the app ID. So these are basically two engines, user ID and app ID. So also the application type is going to be another thing that we will be commonly using as we add our rules. Okay, in terms of the main capability of the Palo Alto firewall is is that is going to be user ID and app ID. So these two will help in recognize and detect the applications that we are going to use within an organization. Yeah. So you also have a concept of um, called uh, what zero trust. The people who are um, connected to cyber security, they might know what zero trust is. Um, basically, this is an approach that Palo Alto takes to secure the environment, to, to secure the network. Uh, let me just clear this. Or clear the canvas. Okay. When you put um, your firewall in a parameter, right? Uh, so on the edge, mostly, you have the firewall. So this is your firewall. Um, I mean, at some point, this firewall will get will get connected to the internet, right? So this will be the outside, which will be connected to the internet. And the other side is going to be our internal segments. So this will have mostly uh, L3 switch here, and then you will have the um, devices connected here maybe laptops, maybe servers, depends. Okay, then again, you can have another, um, what do you say, switch here on the on another interface that can be also part of a different segment, maybe another inside, which is again connected to different resources. Yeah, so what happens? In most cases, the organization, what they do is that they do the protection, um, and the protection is basically focused on the north south. So this is basically north. And this is what we call south. So this is the north south traffic communication, right? But you don't 
do any type of enforcement between the trusted segments, which is these two segments. So there is no policy between the segments. So this, these devices, right? These two devices. So you can basically have multiple trusted networks. As I said, you can have basically different interfaces which are part of the same trusted zone. We will talk about zones later in this course. And the communication is able to go between those internal portions of the network, right? With zero trust. Now with, with, with zero trust and the Palo Alto concept, right? Is go gonna be to also force a policy in lateral direction, which is also known as the east-west traffic. East, uh, east to west traffic. So this lateral movement of traffic, this is also going, uh, going to cover going to be covered in zero trust model so the idea is gonna be uh, to do the inspection do the filtering check uh, the traffic um, I mean filtering check on the traffic as it go as it goes out to the external networks but also as it moves between the trusted zones since Palo Alto is a next gen firewall appliance right um, it will be offering much more features. For example, you will be able to deploy intrusion prevention or do URL filter and detection. Um, and also unknown threats, which is known as wildfire in this case, wildfire. So you will be able to detect unknown threats, zero day, um, zero day attacks. Yeah. And also possibly enforce DNS traffic protection as well. This is collectively, I mean, the, all these things, the uh, deploy, deployment of intrusion prevention, doing URL filtering, um, uh, protecting the organization from unknown threats using wildfire and also uh, the DNS traffic protection. This is all collectively known as the advanced threat protection ATP. Palo Alto device can be um, configured to log traffic to external logging system. So this is a feature which is part of every uh, device. So the logging capabilities, but Palo Alto has a product called Cortex Data Lake. So being a Palo Alto device, you can send the logs to your log servers, or you can have log collectors, which are basically Again, a group of a device uh, appliances from Palo Alto itself. Or you can use Cortex Data Lake. Uh, this is basically a public cloud or, or you can say uh, a cloud-based logging and aggregation system that allows you to correlate the information and log information from multiple sources and analyze it using some machine learning techniques. And it helps you to cipher messages and to see what really is important in those because logs can be overwhelming, right? And you you cannot, I mean, it takes a lot of time to segregate the logs and go through the logs and, and see what impo I mean, important information you have. But with the help of Codec Data Lake, this is taken care by machine learning. And it ultimately gives you a single point of uh, uh, access a dashboard where you can, I mean, check the important data of those logs from those logs. Yeah. So that is one more concept. Last but not least, uh, Palo Alto also has the SD WAN integration. Yeah. Yeah. So you can use this feature to integrate a Palo Alto system if you plan to deploy an SD WAN solution. Yeah, so that is that integration option is also available with Palo Alto. So that was the uh, platform overview. Let me just clear this 